Hello and welcome back to the cove with more Frostpunk. So we have a couple of things that we're still working on. Apparently with our extra survivors we did not home one of them so I guess he's gonna have to go ahead and get himself a new house uh, which we will do and uh, we can fix up a few little efficiencies around in our city. So one of the things we're going to go ahead and do is uh, we're getting rather high on some of our resources so we're going to spend a couple of those straight away at the beginning of the episode uh we're going to go ahead and build ourselves a new fighting arena i think what we're going to do is we're going to build that up around here near these homes we'll chuck the third yeah our new home in there as well that should be fine go ahead and build that house so that should keep everybody fairly happy and nice and warm and then what else do we need we can go ahead and tie that in there. And then what do we need? Yeah, just a little bit of that there. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and uh, find ourselves. Where is it? Uh, in our resources, because we don't want to get capped out. We have an extra location for a coal mine. So that's exactly what we're going to go ahead and build. We have an upgrade going on at this stage, but uh, that'll do nicely as well. Just so we are already ahead of where we need to be and then I believe I th think we're thinking of maybe making another storage supply yeah we're getting rather high and we have a whole stack of resources coming in yeah some more raw food and some more steel as well and I don't want to cap ourselves out so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves another large uh depot we're going to go ahead and pop that. Where do we want to place this? You know what? Right in front of the beacon. That seems like a reasonable position. That seems perfectly valid to me. Either that or maybe we could just put that across here and start trying to squeeze in a couple more. Yeah, you know what? That's actually a better idea. We're going to go ahead and pop that there. And then with our road, we'll make that accessible and then we'll do that and then we'll run this across so everybody should have access to that and then what else did we want to do oh that's right i think we're going to go ahead and chuck this uh, into food rations and then to make sure everything else is all hunky-dory we built ourselves a guard station for these couple of houses that we're going in but it's not currently uh filled so what we're going to do is we're going to take a handful of workers from one of these locations and we're going to throw them in there again this will just give us better hope gain and uh mitigate any potential discontent which we are handling remarkably well uh, but again the higher the hope the more likely we are to be able to get more londoners to abandon their foolish ideas so that's what we're going to be doing for now uh we can actually you know what for now can probably pause these couple of things again we've spent the resources but they're not a priority for our people to build so actually you know what come to think about it maybe maybe it's not a big deal one way or the other no they're already being worked upon well in that case never mind we will uh allow those to continue there we go all right that should be good uh, in a couple of hours we should be able to go ahead and call in another patrol that will do us nicely that should be at the beginning of the workday if memory serves so that should be good and uh, oh yes we're also making our way through more technology for automaton integration that's right if we can increase our uh, effectiveness of our automatons doing the 24 hours a day research that's going to make our lives a whole stack better oh right and uh I forgot homeless person. Whoopsie daisies. Uh, wait a second. Never mind. That's just me playing tricks. Oh, well, good thing we're double checking. The last thing we want is any unnecessary discontent. That is not necessary. All right. So you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and drop a worker from here and put them over in the steam coal mine. Uh, we're making a very nice amount of progress there okay so we just had people leaving the londoners 
that was about eight. So if we've got that another four times over, that's not quite enough for the rest. So yeah, if we can get our tendency to uh, tick even further in our favor, that would be even better. But you know what? We'll just have to see how things go. Uh, also, it looks like we have a couple of unemployed individuals. Did I forget to... Oh, I forgot to move them over to the guard station. Alright, well, there's a little bit of extra hope. Not quite enough to uh, put us over the threshold, but at least it is uh, helping. Uh, let's see, technology. How long until this is finished? About five hours. Yeah, we are working a little bit slower at the moment. Uh, we do have... Yeah, our automaton's going rather slow, but it is what it is. Uh, also, we do have another coal drop coming in another day, so I think the next technology we'll be taking is that extra coal efficiency for those steam hubs. That should help us out immensely, and uh, we'll take things at it as they go. In fact, uh, you know what? At the moment, oh, we have a couple of automatons being queued up, so I guess that's good. Uh, are there any other buildings that can afford the foreman? Not just yet, but I'm assuming that's going to be around the work day. So let's go. No time to waste. We've got work to do. Uh, again, we can do a patrol. That'll be in a couple of hours. We have our book of laws. We still need to build our prison, but that should be fine because we can now go ahead and build that today. So let's go ahead and check out our purpose. Now, this is one of our promises that we made. Ooh, what's that? Pledge of loyalty. Discontent will rise. We'll turn them into secret informers. A permanent hope bonus. E. That seems a little bit dicey. I'm not sure we want to head down that way. What about an agitator? Strategically placed loudspeakers will remind all the cities of their importance of their work and increase their efficiency. Ooh. You know what? That's not the worst. We could actually do with that. That would be really nice. But again, we have a uh, promise to see through. We're going to go ahead and sign the prison in. Discontent will rise. That's fine. It is what it is. But again, we have criminals abounding and we must put them in a uh, secure location. So let's go ahead and build that. Uh, let's see. What is its heat? Base level of three. Okay, so. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Oh, in fact, you know what? I did not even see that, but that is a perfect placement right there between those roads. And it's right next to a watchtower too, so you know what? There was nothing else we could have chucked in there outside of maybe a house, so... And if people are living in there, that should still be counted by the watchtower, right? For hope? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and build that up. That is good. Uh, that should help us out, so that'll be our promise scene to... Uh, we have another 19 hours to build that prison, so I'm not concerned. Uh, that'll certainly be done. And then... What else do we have? Well, not really too much to worry about. Not at this stage. Yeah, we'll be alright. Alright, new technology has been researched. Fantastic. So that's an extra 10% there. So if we check out our... Yeah, we have one left bring it up to 90% which again I do want to take but again at the moment we're about to hit a very cold drop so let's go ahead and maximize our coal uh our coal efficiency yeah steam hubs will burn 33% less that is certainly worth it to me and then from there I think maybe we'll either go to improved heaters just for a couple of those outlying uh situations uh to make sure that they stay warm either that or yeah, back into automaton integration. I think that's where we're going to go. At the moment, I'm happy with our resources. Um, efficient gathering will help us out with a little bit of coal, so that is another thing that we will do. Uh, but again, I'm not too concerned as things currently stand. And we have all of the resources necessary to be able to pick up whatever tech we so desire. So that is incredibly nice to see. All right, so we got those built, we got that done. Uh, let's go ahead and switch. We've got our food rations there. Actually, how many food rations do we produce per day? Hang on a second. That's the wrong menu. Uh, let's go down to our food. 
So we gain about 247 raw food per day. And we're producing about 500 meals. That's good. Okay, that's that's very nice to see. In fact, we probably could cut down if we need some workers. We will keep that in mind. Uh, that's our economy. I'm trying to find... Where is our storage? Oh, no. Here it is. Uh, so, yeah, 247. We have a cap of 300. That is fine by my books. We don't need to change anything there. Let's just go ahead and build up. We could either go coal or food, but I think for now we'll go with we'll go with uh, food rations, just because uh, I think the coal is a little bit more manageable, and we're about to lose a lot of our efficiencies from the day. So that is what it is. All oh, right, and we've been letting time run by. That's no good. Patrols. All right. Well, there we go. Tendency is now very much in our favour. So if it was currently at eight with the two of them. Do we think it would be an extra 50%, maybe 12 per run? Because if that is, that would just be the right amount of time, but I don't know. It's going to be close. Also, too, we need to go ahead and get these four men working. Uh, wasted some of our efficiency here, but it is what it is. Uh, definitely, I think the next uh, war we're going to sign in is those, those agitators. Didn't see a downside. Let's just double check. Yeah, strategically place loudspeakers. Yeah, raise the efficiency of nearby workplaces by 20%. And we'll have to build three, which, let's be honest, resources are not an issue right now. Uh, forceful persuasion. Ooh, what have we unlocked? Uh, reduces the time prisoners spend in prison. Okay. Ooh, they may get hurt or killed and discontent will rise. Yeah, I don't think that's exactly... Uh, this is heading down a path a little too far for me personally. Yeah, son of... I don't like all this uh, secret policing as well. We'll go for the agitators and then we'll probably head back to... I don't really know if we're going to need too many more walls. Uh, I have heard a suggestion for opening up the... Uh, what was it? The public house and all at the, this moment again that's really good for lowering discontent but we're doing an excellent job as that stands um so wait and we don't gain any hope bonuses so i'm not really too concerned at this stage i think i'm happy where things currently lie yeah i just don't think it's uh, in our best interests all right so coal is getting rather close let's just double check uh yeah, I think we're doing okay, but again, this is about to swing very heavily in the other direction. All right, let's go ahead and check in on our scouts at the Frozen Pond. A distinct spot in Frostland. We can use it as a waypoint for further exploration. All right, fantastic. New landmark, wrecked vehicle. A search hasn't uncovered anything of value, but we may be able to reach some more promising locations from here. All right then, carry on. Uh, let's go... Oh, you got nowhere else to go, so let's head over there. Uh, you fellows no longer need to head over there, so let's uh, D2E you. Yeah. Alright, all of our scouts converging on that one area. That should be good. Hopefully that finds us something extra. Uh, and again, just double checking. We haven't missed anything on this other flank here. Yeah, children's... No, frozen graves... I feel like there was a couple more locations last time we played this. Uh, I just can't remember exactly what the layout was, so I'm hoping it is all in this one direction. Uh, but I guess we'll find out as uh, time goes by. Alright, so uh, let's see. Coal growth is fantastic. It's about to get cold. That's going to drop us a whole stack of our coal efficiency. Uh, what was that? Oh, is that another automaton free? Yeah, we are. Oh, that's what we built before. It was an idle automaton. Right, 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 right. Well, you know what? That is perfectly acceptable. Let's go ahead and send them over to the steam coal mine. We'll go ahead and send one out there. That will give us a lot of extra coal output. And then what else do we desire? Hmm. So we have a prison. Oh, apparently we need engineers. Okay. Or workers. 
So if that is the case, we're doing fairly well as far as steel is concerned. Let's go ahead and call you back. We'll throw people into the prison. Oh, well, we'll send them into the work of the prison. Okay, fantastic. Uh, proved our promises have increased of increased safety and order wasn't just a hollow word. Fantastic. So hope has improved yet again. Uh, we'll send our automaton up over there. Yeah, I think that should be fine. Again, we're doing fairly good on the timber situation at the moment. We could send them to the wall drill if so desired. Uh, you know what? Let's go. Where did we build our little factory? I uh, know that's our propaganda center workshop. Oh, there it is. Production has idled. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, we're going to produce another one. Another 100 wood and 100 steel isn't exactly too bad for us. Again, if it's 100 wood every day, our, uh, our outposts will provide us with the remainder. So I'm not too concerned about that. Yeah, and hope has gone up even higher. That's fantastic. That's really, really good. All right, steam hub efficiency has been increased. That's going to save us a silly amount of coal. Um, all right, so improved heaters is an option. Faster output teams could also be nice. I do like that automaton integration, but I think... Hmm. Actually, you know what? Those extra automatons kind of changed things. I was thinking that we were going to need to do... Uh, something to preserve some manpower but we seem to be fine and you know what we're not even can we change no okay uh we're gonna need to build another one of these because i'm pretty sure we're about to hit a uh, maximum of coal and that is not ideal um so we could go for efficient gathering that'll help our steam coal thumpers of which we could also improve Again, I don't know if that's necessarily a uh, necessary right about now. But that efficient gathering will make the most out of the two that we already have. Uh, we have fast outputs. Improved heaters could be nice, but again, I think with the extra steam hub efficiency, we might be all right. Uh, yeah, because we've built ourselves a new steam hub over here. So that keeps our cookhouses and medical outputs yeah in a warmer environment so we don't have to worry about we don't really have to worry about that at this stage yeah it'll drop by three so one two three oh actually you know what maybe that is going to be a little bit too much one two three yeah you know what we might not be able to build any oh sorry we may not, may not be able to cook any more food if we don't have those extra heaters so you know what Let's err upon the side of caution. We're going to grab the improved heaters at this stage. Uh, that'll only take a couple of hours. And uh, yes, throughout the night we will get that. So we at least have more food uh, as things get colder. Our coal growth. Let's go ahead and check that out. That is, wow. That is absurd. We can certainly burn a little bit more if we so desire. Uh, I don't think at this stage... Yeah, I don't think at this stage we really need much of anything. Uh, we do have a workshop back there. No, that's got an automaton. You know what? Maybe we build another uh, workshop just for an extra automaton. If we so desire. It's not the craziest idea. More research again throughout the night? That would be rather helpful. Yeah. Who knows? Well, either way, uh, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and speed things back up again. Uh, yeah. Steam coal mine, that'll do nicely. Again, if we start to hit the maximum, we'll just move an automaton. That is fine by me. Uh, and then we'll send them maybe out to... Oh, we send them. Maybe to one of these sawmills, just so we can uh, make progress throughout that more frequently. I think that's not a bad idea. All right. Scouts have made it to the wrecked vehicle. Steel and coal. Okay. We found the wreck of some sort of vehicle. We can salvage some parts from it. 
Whilst disassembling the wreck to salvage what we could from it, we found a hidden case of supplies. All right, grab the resources and is that it? Huh, that feels weird. I would have thought that there was still some more, um, what do we have? I thought that there was meant to be, um, what do we call it? An observatory or something along those lines for the great storm? Oh well, uh, you know what? If you've got nowhere else to go, let's go ahead and return you to our city. Uh, we'll get all of those resources, which is, you know, a decent amount. And then everybody else, uh... Yeah, I guess maybe we... Did we really walk you all the way out here for nothing? Or do we just kind of leave you out here and hope that something ticks? Honestly, I'm going to go with hoping something ticks. We're going to let those guys stay out in the cold for a while. Those guys are pretty good at being able to survive, so I'm not too concerned. All right. Um, what was that sound? Right. You guys just arriving. That's fine. Uh, that's what that was. Yeah, I think we're all fairly good. Uh, coal is, let's see, yes, yeah, still growing at a ridiculous rate. Let's go ahead and build ourselves a new large resource depot. Again, coal straight away seems pretty decent. Let's throw that in there. That seems ideal. Use this area as far away from the warmth as possible because, again, it makes no difference if coal is cold before it is thrown into a furnace. It's, uh, yeah, not really going to be too much of an issue for us. As long as it stays relatively dry, that's all that matters. And you can do that when things are very cold. Again, it's drying and all that, so. Yeah, all right, that seems good. Uh, let's see, were there any other things that we could do? We'll go for the less engineers necessary in an infirmary. That would be a decent efficiency. Give us a couple more workers to keep doing things. And uh, what else do we have? Oh, you know what? Is that a steam hub there? It is turned on. Oh, that's only... Okay, that's only set to work hours. Right. You know what? Let's go ahead and turn that to 24 hours a day. Uh, we'll set it to range setting one, and we'll see how many homes it hits. No? Let's go to two. Yeah, there we go. So all those houses will stay nice and toasty. All of those workplaces are less likely to have any issues as well. That is good. We got the improved heaters, so that should make sure that our cookhouses maintain their ability to keep cooking. Yeah, so we've got all of the efficiency necessary. It's just a matter of scaling up our infrastructure. Although... There is some upgrade there. One less coal per heater. Huh. Um. Well, that's not bad. That would be essentially a free upgrade. Yeah. I guess, uh. I guess that's nice, but again, I'm not really worried about our coal at the moment. Let's go ahead and grab the increase. Yeah, we're going to grab that automaton integration again. That should do leaps and bounds. Uh, so we still have the Londoners. Yeah, but we have that pretty well sorted, I think. We'll have to see exactly just how many we can negotiate away from their uh, foolhardiness, but... It is what it is. Uh, we don't have anything to worry about there. Child shelters. Again, workshops. We've got all of the foremen doing their thing. Uh, we have watchtowers. We've already done a patrol. Oh, propaganda center. Hey, we almost... I knew that there was something that we were missing and I did not want to. Okay, so... We'll keep that up for now just to make sure that we don't miss... Uh, that was just our scouts. That is fine by me. Let's go ahead and pick up the game speed for a second. Yeah, as soon as that becomes available, we're definitely going to use that. If we can max out our hope, I hope that we could even find maybe a potential greater, uh, more momentum to them returning. 
again hopefully we'll manage in fact you know what i almost wonder if we can maximize our hope whether all of the londoners are just so hopeful that they just turn away from their cause who knows Ooh, propaganda center poets suicide oh dear sir one of our people has committed suicide in his spare time he wrote poems about loss suffering and the death of hope our propaganda center waged a campaign against him to protect our people from his influence now people might blame us for his suicide unless we make it look like he drank himself to death he wouldn't burn his poems and his content will rise slightly i hope we'll fall ah. i don't really want to i don't really want to pull a uh pull one of those uh yeah we don't want to make it look like it was hmm. I don't want us to make to be the bad guys. I don't really want to destroy what he wrote because again, at the end of the day, we're going to need to start from scratch with all of our art and everything else that we've done. But at the same time too, losing a hope is not exactly what I want. You know what? We'll burn the poems. We've got to stay warm, I guess. Yeah, that's a tough decision. I wasn't, I'm not a huge fan of that. I feel like maybe we made the wrong call there, but only time will tell um yeah all right also too it looks like we've been going through our stockpile of wood fairly decently uh let's see we're only making 165 per day but yeah there's nothing too ridiculous yeah all right well oh more people abandoned the londoners okay fantastic so we went from I think it was 43 down to 31 so if that is the case and it's roughly every 18 hours someone disappears we only need three more of that so i think we might be able to deal with the londoners in time that would be really nice if my uh if my rough estimations are accurate that would be very very nice indeed all right so propaganda center is still doing its thing that's fine we're about to hit the cold. Let's go ahead and ramp things up by two levels. So it's only going to be a drop of one. Again, save a couple of hours if we can. We don't want people to be too uh, jarred. Worst thing is when people get uh, all rugged up, all their jumpers and extra layers, and then they walk outside. Like the amount of times that makes them feel so much cooler because all of a sudden... You know, their body doesn't really adapt whereas if they had have just waited a second or two they wouldn't be as cold all right um what's going on here how's as cold as anything uh i thought turning up the generator would have done something oh no there's level two okay so that brings everything up a fraction and then uh, have we got no steam hub over here? Ooh. Well, okay, 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 okay. But that's not ideal. Uh, let's also make sure that that coal station is turned, uh, that guard station is active. Um. Yeah. Those workshops are very cold. Actually, you know what? They're going to go up another level. So from... Cold will go to chilly. I suppose that's survivable. Um, yeah, again, if we can keep people as warm as possible, that wouldn't be bad. And let's see, this is automaton integration. Yeah, we might need some extra, some extra things. All right, so uh, we're definitely going to go ahead and build ourselves a new, a new steam hub. I thought we had one here already, but I guess I was wrong. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure that our people do not freeze. Yeah, they're right on the cusp, but not quite. But unfortunately, we don't get to choose what a level one would look like. Although, I dare say that should be enough to cover them all. So we'll build it there and hope that we can just put it on level one and that'll cover all of these. 
If not, we could be in a little bit of danger. Uh, let's double check our coal too, since we are increasing. Yeah, we're still making more coal than what we actively need at the moment. Let's make sure we have more coal in supply. Or uh, in our... Uh... Yeah, and then let's just see. Are we almost at Steam Level 3? We are. Yikes. Okay. 28 coal per hour. That's... Wait, are we really that efficient on our coal at this stage? We are. Good grief. Okay, well... Uh, you know what? I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn on a couple of heaters. Otherwise, that is an absolute waste. Again, make sure that they stay nice and alive. Same with you as well. Uh, those gathering posts are a little bit chilly, but I think we could do that with the next round of tech. We'll upgrade all of those. Uh... Yeah, I think... Sawmill is freezing. What is this? Uh, oh, there's no more resources there. Okay, so, you know what? That's good. We can finally be done with that. Let's pull the automaton. Let's dismantle the building. Now, that's fine. Let's go ahead and throw that extra worker... Oh, well, that extra automaton out over there, I suppose. And then, you know what, let's tell him to go away from there. We'll send him for food instead. Yeah, that'll be... Actually, you know what, never mind. We don't want the automaton there. We want him over here. Again, if we can clear up all these extra resources, that's what I would prefer to do, if at all viable. All right, uh, let's also go ahead and make sure that we have... I feel like we should almost get one more tech... Uh, one more workshop that we can just chuck our automaton in. Yeah, I feel like that's probably not the worst idea. We could throw it in right there, but again, that's fairly close to everything. We might want some more homes. Uh, let's just go... Actually, you know what? There we are. Fantastic. We can build that all the way out here where that's not going to affect anything. There we go. That is fine by me. That is what I think we'll do. We should still have another automaton coming our way uh, from our factory relatively soon. Yeah, there it is. So uh, we'll get that to be built nice and quickly, and then we'll send him there. So you know what? I think that's what we'll do, and we will pick up in the next episode. So if you do want to see that, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is the best way to catch all future content, and I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to The Leviathan Cove. This is The Leviathan, signing out.